get on that to take him so I can go there. What are you doing right now? <laughs> I'm deep puffing with ice. <laughs> deep puffing? I think that's what it's called. Like, oh, oh, is that what you're saying? Oh. Well, that's what it looks like. I turn on this reggae music, you guys. Anytime you come by here, ask Alexa to play music. She will. <laughs> oh, that's um, hilarious. The owner's name is Alyssa and Corey will be Wait, like, at the winery? No, at the shop. Oh. It's out front and Alexa and Corey will be like, Corey will be like, Alyssa, shut up. Because his uh, wife's no. name is Alyssa. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Alexa. They'll so be like, Alyssa, shut up. told me I stand out in a crowd. What's that supposed to mean? Kaylin. Wow. He just got up the stairs by putting his leg up and didn't talk to me on the 11th because I was in a deep psychosis. It was a very triggering day from the moment that I woke up. And shall I just share what I wrote? I was actually thinking that in my mind. Okay, I'll just share what I wrote yesterday. Okay. okay. Today, deep on psychosis has been rough. My mind has been coming for me hard. I have grown a lot recently in seeing all the little tiny fragments that make up who is before you now. I am currently, I was then, holding my son while he pees. I am crying, writing this message because there is no other choice than to pull myself from the pit of despair. Today I woke up and immediately felt my subconscious kick into high gear just as she does every single morning. 
but today she was powerful, overtaking me completely, still to this moment. <clears throat> I so badly just want to be seen, to be heard, to be gently held, caressed, lovingly, and told that everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. Thank you. Too bad you didn't do this yesterday. <laughs> My sister Brooke has been a great reflection as part of me, parts of me come clear that I was not aware of until today, yesterday. My insecurities have been brought to the surface, for which I am very glad because now I can replace those thoughts with much healthier ones. But the road to get to this point has been triggering and I am left feeling completely betrayed. I know it's my own fault. My bipolar nature causes those around me to walk on eggshells because I just may pop at any moment. It's sad, really. Even through my rage today, a part of me was able to, stay, to take a step back and just witness the baby girl within me, simply wanting to be held and heard, begging and pleading, but not knowing how to properly ask for what she needs and in return, acting out quite childish. Oh, to be misunderstood. It sucks. It hurts. Because I know after a while, my actions begin to affect those around me. And now I feel that my relationship is holding on by a thread. My insecurities, jealousy, and mistrust cause me to withdraw further and further, pushing away my family, Randy and Zada. I hear things like, bad mom, bad mom. I don't belong here. Some of the thoughts I hear inside my mind. Suicide has been on my mind heavily, as the split I feel only makes me feel more and more alone. I feel that Zada and Randy deserve better. Will that be me? Sometimes I don't know. As in these moments, death sounds more and more sweet, and her calls grow strong. I don't know if I can do this anymore. Maybe the damage is done maybe they all would be better off and they probably would be if i continue down the path of destruction i am on now so then how do i change how do i be different how do i attract the love and abundance i desire how do i feel in love with myself and life how do i trust again and how do i let go so that was yesterday. I wrote that while I was coming to reality. I was like fading in and out, in and out. Some moments better than other, others, but my mind was definitely on one. And uh, I was just sharing right now. I was writing. Today has been a much better day much much better i think that yesterday is what some would call the dark night of the soul and even though it seems scary it's really powerful because now i know and now i can continue to actively choose to think thoughts that build me up rather than spiral me out and down um because it's possible i've become aware of certain thought patterns and where they will take me and it, it's just like there's no point because my physical reality that's nothing's happening nothing bad is nothing spiraling out everything is good i'm safe making money i'm fed i mean i got like you know roof over my head awesome partner a beautiful healthy child like <laughs> everything's really good so just tending to my mind <laughs> Yeah, like Zada said. Ah. It's like a. Your mind is like a garden. And if we don't, if we're not cautious or aware of what we're planting, then you're planting weeds. Then weeds will grow. And weeds will grow. No matter what, something's gonna grow. Right. Is so it we a may weed as well... or is it something that bears fruit? Because I would prefer fruit. Ah! Nobody. You shall know them by their fruits. Yeah. Matthew, blah, blah, blah. Yes. I feel better today, though. On a side note, everything's awesome. Life is good. Zara's about to be one years old.
Rose. One years. One years. <laughs> and anyway, that's all I really have to say for right now. Peace. Peace.